very much if you are watching us live. We are here at the Judicial Complaints Commission. Uh, I have brought a complaint letter against the Chief Justice and one of um, the Justices of the Supreme Court. This is a matter in which um, uh, the judgment regarding Honorable Katele Kalumba, a former Minister of Finance, the Permanent Secretary Stella Chivanda, two executives, business executives, Faustin and Aaron Chungu. After the judgment was presided over, I noticed that of the three justices that had sat to hear this appeal, there was uh, two judges that, in my view, were sufficiently prejudiced on these matters. Horrible Mumba Marila, as Chief Justice, um, sorry, as Attorney General, the period 2006 and 2009, he presided over these matters regarding a security account. Many people could have forgotten there was a security account called Zamtrop account, which was a subject of litigation, numerous civil and criminal litigation regarding Dr. Chirubam and those that served in his government. And Honorable Attorney General then, Honorable Mumba Marila, sued Dr. Chuluva, Aaron Chungu, Faustin Kawe, Stella Chibanda, sued them in London regarding payments that were made out of this security account called the Zamtrop account. Honorable John Chinyama was a presiding magistrate in the criminal case for former President Dr. Chuluva, who was co-accused with uh, Faustin Kawe and Aaron Chungu. And he actually jailed Faustin and Aaron Chungu and acquitted Dr. Chuluva. I should hasten to say that on acquittal, I mean on appeal, uh, Aaron and Faustin were acquitted by a panel of three judges in the High Court over those cases. So you can see that when this matter came on appeal for Katele Kalumba and three others, the two judges among the three that sat, the two should have recused themselves. This is a demand of the law, it's a demand of Supreme Court rules, it's a demand of the Judicial Code of Conduct. They should have recused themselves, but they, they proceeded to preside over the matter, they proceeded to hear the matter and determine the matter. I think that this is a serious matter of professional misconduct. I actually anchor my complaint on the address by Honorable Mumba Marila himself when he addressed the judiciary you know, uh, and support staff shortly after he was um, sworn in. He gave a remarkable uh, 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 speech in which he said the judiciary under his ambit and under his uh, authority and under his direction will, be, will administer justice in a fair manner who restore credibility because, you know, the, the judiciary had lost credibility, said he would restore credibility. And he said the administration of justice, the powers of the courts, all hinge on the respect and the esteem in which ordinary people hold the judiciary. If we hold it in contempt, contempt the courts lose power. I anchor my complaint against him and Honorable John Sinyama just on his very words because he gave hope to many that for the first time we'll have an admirable judiciary that's professional, that is absent of misconduct and the administration of justice will be fair. So please follow me as I take this complaint in the Judiciary Complaints Commission. How are you? Officer, how are you? Thank you very much. Mwabombashan. Wonderful, wonderful. In sale yo icho chintu icho na isa. Tola sa toaka nefi onkwete. Officer, good morning. How are you? Very well. I'm here to deliver a complaint. I want to deliver to the JCC. I want to go to the secretariat and leave this complaint. Okay, JCC will just enter there and return right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, officer. Thank you very much. Morning, Morning. Morning. How are things? Okay, we thank God. We thank God. 
You are professionals. You should be respected. Not that you are PF, you are UPN. This is what seven is talking about. Apart. Shani ba nemuri shani. Endita. Good morning, officer. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. I'm coming to the JCC. Just here. Thank you very much. Good morning. How are you? You're a public institution, don't worry. You're an institution of democracy. <laughs> I am um, Emmanuel Mwamba, a former ambassador to Ethiopia, and I'm a citizen. I'm also a presidential candidate in the Patriotic Front, where we are jostling for leadership. I have a complaint that I need to deliver, a complaint against uh, two senior judges. The complaint is in writing, I wanted the complaint received and uh, a copy for my record. Yes, so I have three copies. I think you can take one and stamp the others for me. Thank you very much. How is the procedure for me after I leave my complaint? Uh, you have to wait for your complaint to be tabled by commissioners. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, but we have to acknowledge. Uh, yes. We are going to acknowledge today. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I've got my phone number there if you want my email as well and my physical address. Yes, uh, uh -huh. Okay. Today's dead. <laughs> Thank you very much. And your name? Oh, you have my details there. Um, uh, you can write your number here so that I can call for follow-up. Even the landline. But yeah, that will be fine. Okay. Mm, you just change the premises. <laughs> this is our number. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll wait uh, for, for you to uh, uh, come in. Okay, I'll be grateful. Thank you very much and thank you for your response. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Sir, how are you? Okay, how are you? Very well, thank you. Oops, how are you? Thank you. Hello, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well. <laughs> what chair? Okay. Not chair. So, because we came here. <laughs> yes. That, that, that's the time Victoria was calling him. Oh, I see. Yes, I see. But he didn't give feedback. Yeah. So now, when now we're about to go to the magistrate, I saw you. So, okay, <laughs> yeah, we can so give our interview yeah. here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, Shan Muntuant. Nalakuman. Yes, Okay. 
Okay, wonderful, wonderful. We've laid our complaint, our complaint to the Secretary of the Judicial Complaints Authority. We are now a commission. Okay. Mm. Yeah, where did you find them? Huh? No, no, you just give it to the Secretary. Okay. They're the Secretariat of the JCC. Okay. And then the commissioners will sit, we'll sit to uh, adjudicate if there's merit in my complaint. Mm -hmm. They'll communicate to, yeah. to us over our complaint, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So basically, just tell us the content of, um, of the complaint. Yes. Yeah. And then how you want them to handle this issue in terms mm -hmm. of the period. Because mm -hmm. you see the situation where complaints are made, yes. but the is given with after a long period. Yes, yes, yes. No, we, we think that we have a valid complaint, and uh, uh, this is for the promotion of independence of our judiciary, its autonomy, and uh, for it to attract the respect that it should from our people, you know, and that the uh, court system is not used to weaponize politics. Okay, right, so you have uh, officially made a complaint before the Judicial Complaint uh, Commission. Um, what's the content? We brought uh, an official letter of complaint to the Judicial Complaints Commission. Our complaint hinges on the conduct of two senior judges. We think that there was professional misconduct in the manner and in the administration of justice. Um, there is a court matter, it's a public matter, regarding Dr. Katele Kalumba, former finance minister, uh, the permanent secretary Stella Mumbachibanda, she was permanent secretary at the Ministry of uh, Finance, and two business executives, Faustin Kabwe and Aaron Chungu. In this matter, the facts are around a security account called the Zamtrop. I am holding that when the, you know, when the four appealed to the Supreme Court. These two judges, the Chief Justice, Honorable Mumba Marila, and Honorable John Sinyama, should not have heard and determined this case because they are very familiar with the facts. They are highly prejudiced and have demonstrated. In the case of the Chief Justice, he was Attorney General at the time, and he actually sued Aaron and Faustin, Dr. Chiluwa, Stella, Chibanda in London over the same payments in the Zamtrop account. I think that he doesn't have uh, 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 a, an innocent mind when he's coming to the facts on appeal. Honorable John Sinyama jailed Aaron and Faustin in the same matters arising from payments in the Zamtrop account. It is imperative that the two judges should have recused themselves. We have many Supreme Court judges who could have heard this matter in a fair and unprejudiced manner. So the gist of our complaint is that these judges should have recused themselves and their failure to recuse themselves uh, amounts to professional misconduct because one of the cardinal principles in, 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 you know, in justice is that a judge must be fair. And that is why judges are quick. Even if you are related to me, you are my brother, no matter how rich the facts are, you can't adjudicate over my matter because you're my brother. If you know the matters, you can't adjudicate over the matters because the judge must come with a fair mind to the facts so that they can deliver justice in an impartial manner. These two justices, they know the principle. They are very experienced judges for Honorable Mumba Marilila, who is the chief justice. I'm actually holding him to account for his own words when he gave his inaugural address as chief justice. The, re the words were rich. The principles in which he said he would run the judiciary were extremely rich and we all admired that. So to see him as the first one to break his own principles is unacceptable. So we have called for the JCC to hear and determine our complaint. In the meantime, we've called for the suspension of the two judges that they are suspended so that my complaint can be attended to in a fair manner. Um, how quickly would you want this matter to be disposed of? Uh, the purpose of this complaint is not to bring scandal to these two eminent men that occupy key senior positions in our country. That's not the purpose. The purpose is that uh, I fear that justice, there's been a miscarriage of justice. I fear that there's been an abuse of authority in this case. I fear that a simple matter of recusal was ignored. It's not simple. It's a fundamental, 
foundation of justice. And I think that this matter should be heard quickly, speedily, and resolved upon. Like I'm saying, it has not been brought for purposes of scandal or, 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 or bringing anyone in disrepute. I think that I have a very valid um, complaint, well-founded. And for me, remember, I served as former president, Frederick Chiruba, spokesperson. So by memory, I'm, a, I'm, I'm aware about these facts. When this appeal was going on, I didn't even know who was sitting. But when I saw the judgment, I was sufficiently alarmed. I said, how could they? How could they sit on these matters? These two gentlemen, we've walked in this path together. They know these matters. There is no way they would have sat in, an if in a fair and impartial manner over these facts. And remembering how we have dealt with these facts with these two gentlemen. So my complaint against the Chief Justice and the uh, and Justice John Sinyama is valid. And I hope that the JCC will quickly hear the matter and bring this matter to a close. Okay, thank you. Thank, so you. thank you very much. So much. To our dear listeners and uh, social media uh, audience, thank you for joining us in this complaint against the two senior judges. We have to test institutions of democracy. We have to ensure that as the constitution envisages them to be independent, to adjudicate on these professional matters, I am testing this institution. Let us see. There's a valid case before you. Resolve the matter. You are a constitutional creature. R rise up to the position that you hold as a constitutional creature and dispense justice to the benefit of our people. So God bless you. Thank you for joining us and see you next time. So.